Greetings and welcome back to AP English and our study of the Roberts text. I'm with you on page 774. We're now looking at Octavio Paz's The Street. Now we saw Octavio Paz um, earlier already on page 662 of Roberts when we messed around with two bodies. Um, so our biography will not be as detailed here. His um, 1963 offering The Street will be our study. Just to remind though, um, 1914 to 1998, a Mexican poet and diplomat, so influential in, uh, in the letters of the late 20th century. In 1981 he was awarded the Cervantes Prize and in 1990 the Nobel Prize. Um, I, I love this poem because it gives you a sense of the ways in which Paz can say several things simultaneously. Just uh, let's read the text and let's exegete as we go. The street. A long, silent street. I walk in blackness and I stumble and fall and rise. And I walk blind, my feet stepping on silent stones and dry leaves. Someone behind me also stepping on stones. Leaves. If I slow down, he slows. If I run, he runs. I turn. Nobody. Everything dark and doorless, turning and turning these corners which lead forever to the street where nobody waits for. Nobody follows me. Where I pursue a man who stumbles and rises and says, when he sees me, nobody. Now we can't help but right away jump to 3A and mention, of course, our odyssey. It's clear that we're playing games with the idea. You'll remember that Odysseus will say to Polyphemus, the Cyclops in the cave, when asked, what is your name? My name is nobody. But a close study of the odyssey, as we've given it at LearnStrong.net, a thorough study, will show that the word nobody comes up again and again in the study of the odyssey. The other text, the classical text, that we love in 303 that obviously comes to play here is Dante's Divine Comedy, especially his journey through Inferno, led, of course, by uh, the great poet Virgil. Let's now work through the poem and just Im impress on ourselves the way that something so simple can be rather complex. Let's put it in our notes already. This is clearly a poem not only about taking a walk, but about identity, right? Notice, we'll begin with a long silent street. We can't help but think of Frost's Acquainted with the Night as is well a correlated poem here in 3A. I walk in blackness, and I stumble and fall and rise. Can't help but think of our Dante here, right? And I walk blind, my feet stepping on silent stones and dry leaves. This idea of the walk often, so often in life, being a blind walk. Now, we know this all too well, don't we, in our studies as high school and as college university students, the ways in which we're just not really sure where we're going, kind of feeling our way along. And then all of a sudden, someone else joins. Someone behind me, also stepping on stones, leaves. Uh, now, this, th this idea of the word leaves being used both as leaves one steps on and the idea of leaving someone behind me. In other words, you turn and, and, and that someone is not there. If I slow down, he slows. If I run, he runs. Notice it is he and not she in this poem, right? I turn, and then, of course, the first use of nobody. Notice the repetitions of nobody. That is to say, identity is to some degree being challenged here. The ontological question in our big five of who are you? Notice how this poem will play games with all five of our big five. Epistemology and what you can know, often not much. Ontology and who you are, here it's nobody. Of course, psychology and sociology is our next two. Our fears and the idea that sometimes when we're most uh, alone, we are uh, trying to decide exactly how we're going to live in that alone state, that nobody state, we might say. Notice everything dark and doorless. There's, there's, no, there's no way to, to, um, to find oneself, to extricate oneself. We're in the chapter in Roberts chapter 14 on imagery, and there's obviously some powerful imagery being played here. Turning and turning, we can't help but think but, uh, of, of uh, W.B. Yeats's second coming, turning and turning in the Whiting Gyre. Um, turning and turning these corners which lead forever to the street. Notice before it was the silent street. Now it's the street where nobody waits for. Nobody follows me. Where I pursue a man who stumbles and rises and says when he sees me, nobody. Uh, the idea 
of coming to terms with who we are and the challenges of surviving the experience of living one's life to come to finally the last of our big five, the question of the Odyssey. Why is there got to be pain and suffering in this world? The challenge to, of course, finally make it home to Ithaca to return to our uh, observations about Odysseus. Well, very quickly here, we can finish with a 3B question. To what degree has it been for you a serious challenge when you finally recognized that you at times have met yourself and you find that yourself is nobody. It doesn't necessarily have to be a negative kind of recognition as, as, as sometimes it can be a recognition that to, as Socrates points out, to recognize what you don't know is a pretty important thing to know, right? Of course, as we have said already, the Odyssey comes to mind as well as does Dante. What other titles come to mind for you? We mentioned Acquainted with the Night. What are your favorite walking texts? Maybe Song of the Open Road by Whitman comes to mind as well. And the challenge to be nobody or to be something other than nobody. Well, I hope that this will lead you on to more of Paz's classic work. Thank you.